Essentials Version 7 Courses Chapter 1 Introduction to Personal Computer Hardware Personal Computer is a multi-purpose computer whose size, capabilities, and price make it feasible for individual use. Electrical Safety Electrical devices have certain power requirements. Always check the label or manual before you plug in, in a AC socket wall. AC adapters are manufactured for specific laptops. Exchanging AC adapters with a different type of laptops or device may cause damage to both the AC adapters and laptop. Follow electrical safety guidelines to prevent electrical fires, injuries, and fatalities. ESD Electrostatic discharge can occur when there is a build-up on electricity charge that exists on a surface which comes into contact with another different charge surface. ESD can cause damage to computer equipment if not discharged properly. At least 3,000 volts of static electricity must build up before a person can feel ESD. Follow this recommendation to help prevent ESD damage. Keep all components in anti-static bag until you are ready to install them. Use grounded mats on workbenches. Use grounded floor mats in work area. Use anti-static wrist strap when working inside computer. PC components. The cases. The case houses. The internal components such as the power supply, motherboard, central processing unit, memory, disk drive, and assorted adapters. The term form factor refer to the physical design and look of a case. Common desktop computers are available in form factor including the horizontal case, this one. The full tower case, the compact tower, and the all-in-one. In power supplies, computer are use a power supply to convert AC power into a lower voltage DC power requirements by internal components. The desktop computer power supply form factor include the AT or advanced technology. Originally powered for legacy computer system. The ATX, the Advanced Technology Extended, updated version of the AT. The ATX 12 volts, the most common power supply on the market today. And EPS 12 volt, originally designed for a network server, but is now commonly used in high-end desktop model. Connectors. A power supply includes several different connectors. They are used to power various internal components, such as the motherboard and the disk drive. For example, the 20 or 24 pin slotted connector, this one, the SATA key connector, the Molex connector, this one, the Berg key connector, the 4-pin to 8-pin auxiliary power connector, this one, and the 6 to 8-pin uh, PCI Express power connector. Power supply voltage. The different connector in a power supply also provide different voltage. The most common voltage supplies are 3.3 volts, 5 volts, and 12 volts. 3.3 volts and 5 volts supplies are typically used by digital circuit, while the 12 volt supply is used to run motors in a disk drives and fans. 
Power supply can also be a single rail, dual rail, or multi-rail. A computer can tolerate slight fluctuation in power, but a significant deviation can cause the power supply to fail. The motherboards. Motherboard is the backbone of the computer. It is a printed circuit board or the PCB that contains buses or electrically pathways that interconnect electronics components. This component may be soldered directly into the motherboard or added using, socket, uh, using sockets, expansion slots, and ports. Motherboard components. Major components on a motherboard include the central processing unit, install to the CPU socket, the RAM, random access memory, it installed to the RAM slot, the expansion slots, this one, the chipset, north and south, the BIOS, basic input-output system chips, and unified extensible firmware interface chip, the SATA connector, and USB connector. Chipset consists of integrated circuit on the motherboard that control how the system hardware interacts with the CPU and motherboard. The chipset consists of the following two types, the north bridge and the south bridge. The north bridge, it controls the high speed access to the RAM and video, uh, video card, while south bridge it allows the CPU to communicate with a slower speed device including the hard disk, universal serial bus, ports, and expansion slots. The motherboard form factor. The form factor of the motherboard pertains to the size and the shape of the board. There are three common motherboard factors, the ATX, the micro ATX, and ITX. The advanced technology extended most popular form factor, the size that is 12 by 9.6 inches, the micro ATX, the small footprint than ATX, 9.6 by 9.6 size, the mini ITX, designed for a small device such as thin client and setup boxes, 6.7 by 6.7 inches, and the ITX. Comparable from form factor to micro ATX 8.5 by 7.5 inches. What is CPU? The central processing unit CPU is responsible for interpreting and executing command. A central processing unit also called a central processor. The main processor or just processor in a electronic circuitry with a computer that execute instruction that make up a computer program. The modern CPU socket and processor packets are built in the following architecture. Pin green array. This one. The pin are on the underside of the processor. And the LAN grid array. The pins are in the socket instead on the processor. Cooling system. Computer components perform better when keep cool. Computer are keep cool using active and passive cooling uh, solution. The heat sink, the passive cooling. Uh, it absorbs the heat. And the fan, it blow away the heat. A case fan is considered as active cooling. Types of memory. A computer might use different types of memory chips. All memory chips is stored in data in form of bytes. A byte is a block of 8 bits stored as either 0 or 1 in memory chips. The ROM such as ROM chips, the RAM, random access memory, is the temporary working storage for the data and programs that are being accessed by the CPU. RAM is a uh, volatile memory. If the power is interrupted, the stored data is quickly 
loss. Then the types of PROM, read-only memory chips, the PROM, programmable read-only memory, the EEPROM, erasable, programmable read-only memory, the EEPROM chips, electrically erasable, programmable read-only memory. Then the types of RAM, the dynamic RAM or the DRAM, the static RAM, the SRAM, or synchronous dynamic random access memory, then the DDR SDRAM, DDR2 SDRAM, DDR3 SDRAM, DDR4 SDRAM, and GDDR SDRAM or graphics uh, double data rate. Then the memory modules. Memory chips are solder, uh, soldered to a circuit board to create a memory module, which is placed into a memory slot on, on the motherboard. The different types of memory module includes the DIP, dual inline package, the SIM, single inline memory module, the DIM, dual inline memory module, and SODIM, small outline dual inline memory module. The faster memory typically, that is the SRAM, which is used as CAS memory. Then the speed of memory has a direct impact on how much data processor can process in a given period of time. The faster memory is typically, that is SRAM, which is used to CAS memory for storing the most recently used data in instruction by the computer. The three most common types of CAS memory are the L1, the L2 CAS, and L3 CAS, just some high-end PC workstation and server CPU. Memory errors occur when the data is not stored correctly in the memory chips. The computer uses different methods to detect and correct data errors in memory. Different types of error checking methods include non-polarity, polarity, and the ECC error correction code. Adapter cards. Adapter cards increase the functionality of a computer by adding controllers for the specific device or replacing malfunction port. For example, if your uh, built-in sound card is not work properly, then you can use the adapter cards like the sound card to replace the malfunction uh, built-in sound card. The common adapters included sound adapter, the NIC, uh, NIC wireless, the BGA or display adapter, the capture card, TV tuner, the USB controller cards, the eSATA cards. Computer have expansion slot on the motherboard to install adapter cards. The type of adapter cards connector match match to the expansion slot. Common expansion slots include the PCI, the mini PCI, the PCI extended, the PCI Express, the riser card, the AGP, accelerated graphic port. The data drives provides non-volatile storage device. Some drives have fixed media and the other drives have removable media. The data storage device can be classified according to the media which the data is stored. The magnetic, the magnetic like HDD and the tape drive, the solid state drive, and the optical like CDs and DVD. Storage device inside a computer connect to the motherboard using serial attach or the SATA connect, uh, connection. The Ligary interface in parallel, the ATA, the EIDE or Integrated Drive Electronics, the IDE. The EIDE, that is Enhanced Integrated, it support 16.6. .6 megabytes the SATA 1 it support 1.5 gigabytes the SATA 2 3.0 
and the SATA3 that is 6.0 The magnetic media storage, this type of storage represent binary values at magnetized or non-magnetized physically area in magnetic media. The common types of magnetic media storage, that's the HDD, traditional magnetic uh, disk drive, this one, and uh, storage capacity ranging from gigabytes to terabyte, the tape drive. The most open use for archiving data. The tape usually magnetic read write head and removable tape cartridge. Then the capacity it varies between a few giga to many terabytes. Then the semiconductor storage, the solid state drive the SSD. Store data as electrical charge in semiconductor plus memory. This makes SSD much faster than magnetic HDD. The HDD have no moving parts, make noise, and more energy efficient and produce less heat than HDD. Okay, that is the SSD M2 drive. Then the SSD adapter card. Semiconductor storage, the non-volatile memory express. Specification was developed specifically allowed to computers to take greater advantage of the futures of SSD by providing a standard interface between the SSD, the PCI express bus, and operating system. The MBM allows complaint SSD drives to attach the PCI bus without requiring special drive. The solid state hybrid drives or the SSHD are a compromise between a magnetic HDD and an SSD. They are faster than an HDD but less expensive than an SSD. Then the types of optical storage drive. Optical drives are removable media storage device that is use a laser to read and write data on optical media. There are three types of optical drives that is the CDs, the audio and data, then the B DVD, digital uh, versatile disc, digital video and data, and the Blu-ray disc or the HD digital video and data. Then the types of storage device. If you take a look the optical media and the capacity. The normal capacity of CD-ROM and CDR, CDRW that is 700 MB while the DVD-ROM and RAM 4.7 up to 8.5 GB and the BD-ROM that is 25 GB single layer then 50 GB dual layer, that is the BDR and the BDRE. Then the video ports and cables. A video ports connects a monitor to a computer using cable. The BGA ports and cable include, that is the DBI, digital uh, visual interface, the display port, this one. The HDMI, High Definition Multimedia Interface. Then the Thunderbolt 1 and 2. Thunderbolt 3. And the BGA, that is Videographic Array. And the Radio Corporation of America, the RCA. Then the other ports and cable. The I.O. The I.O. ports. That is the... PS2, Personal System 2, and the audio and game port, the network, the SATA, Serial Attachment, and then the IDE and the USB. Then adapters and converters. There are many connections standard in use today. 
these components are called adapters and converters. Converter performing the same function as an adapter but also translate the signal from one technology to another. The uh, DVI to VGA adapter, USB to Ethernet controller, uh, the PS2 to USB, the DBI to HDMI adapter, then the Molex to SATA adapter, the HDA, uh, HDMI converter to VGA. The original input device, input device, all the user communicate with a computer. Some of the first input device include keyboard and mouse, the AFD or flat bedded scanner, the joystick and gamepad, the keyboard mouse switch, Then, new input device, some new input device include touch screen, the stylus, the magnetic strip reader, and then the barcode scanner. More new input device, APOR new input device, that's the digital camera, webcam, Signature pad, smart card reader, and microphone. The most recent input device, the newest input device include the NFC device and terminal, the face recognition, the N, uh, NFC device and terminals, the Facial recognition, the fingerprint scanner, voice recognition scanner, and the virtual lia, uh, reality headset. What are the output device? An output device takes binary information from the computer and converts it into a form that is easily understood by the user. Example of the output device include uh, monitors, the projector, the VR headset, a printer, speaker, and headphones. Most monitor use one of three types of technology. The LCD, liquid crystal display, the light emitting diode, the organic LED or OLED. The most video project projector use LCD or DLP technology. DLP stands for Digital Lightning Processing. Different between the the different projector have different number of lumens. It affects the level of brightness of the project image. Then the virtual reality VR use computer technology to create and uh, to create a simulated three dimension environment. A VR headset completely in cases. The upper portion of user faces, not allowing in any ambient light from their surrounding. Then the augmented reality, the AR, uses similar technology but superimposes image and audio over the real world in real time. The printers are output device that create hard copies of file. A hard copy might be on a sheet of paper. It also be a plastic form created from a 3D printer. The different types of printer, that's the inkjet, the impact printer, the 3D printer, and the thermal printer. Speaker and headphones. Speaker are type of auditory out device. Most computers and mobile devices have audio support either integrated into motherboard or an adapter card, headphones, earbuds, 
and their phones found in headset are all auditory output devices. Okay, the ATX power supply connector. This one that is the 20 to 24 uh, power connector for your motherboard. The 4-pin APS power connector or 12 volts power connector. The Molex. And the SATA power connector. Two examples of cases. The first one that is the horizontal case. And the second case, that is the mini tower case. Okay. Inside this horizontal case, you see this power supply or the AT power supply. Compare to the ATX power supply and the AT power. Uh, supply there are different between the two this one is the sizes and even the connector disassemble a computer first step power up and disconnect all the power supply Step 2, disconnect the mouse and keyboard, the BGA, the power connector, step 3, remove the key screw. Open the case, then you will uh, remove the power connector or the mod to the fan. Then the fourth step, remove all the cable connector. This one, that is the SATA cable from motherboard to are this the power connector SATA the power button the status of the HDD the USB front panel the audio then uh, the ATX power connector or 20 pin for the motherboard and the EFS 4 pin or 12 volt connector then you can remove the power supply Then you can remove the hard disk drive.
Move your motherboard to your case. the RAM okay that's it how to disassemble a computer okay assemble a computer first step install the motherboard to the case Then the next step, install the hard disk drive. Next, install the power supply. Then the twenty pin power supply. The twenty pin power supply for the 
motherboard then the EPS 12 volts Then you can connect the SATA cable. Then the SATA power connector or the hard disk. Next, the reset button and the power switch button. And the HDD status light. and the audio and then the case cover Okay, that's it. How a computer assemble.